they've perked up quite a bit now. It's news Sam Dyke says many students are still trying to comprehend as the first day of class after Thanksgiving break is spent discussing the resignation of ORU's president. We have the whole emotional mixed bag of it all that, you know, people form against him and why is he doing it? I mean, it's a lot of confusion, to be honest. At Nordagio's Coffee, which is just across the street from the university, former ORU student Jordan Taylor says he's interested in the truth. Founder of the website ORULawsuit.org, Jordan says he's pleased Roberts relinquished his title as university president. I think everybody knew that he would really have to step down. But, you know, I really hope they find somebody to replace him and uh, somebody that's uh, very distinguished. Even though Richard Roberts is no longer ORU president, he's not stepping away entirely. Roberts has always been a member of the Board of Regents and is president and CEO of Oral Roberts Ministries. The university itself falls under the umbrella of the ministry. I have said if we lose a third of the, the student body, we'll make it back again. At a university chapel held earlier this month, ORU founder and chancellor Oral Roberts said he would resist any move to separate ORU from the ministry that bears his name. The ministry is not going to lose this ministry. This ministry is not going to lose this university. The finance, as tough as it is right now, is not going to take us down. The elder Roberts also said he's prepared to fight. I'm only three months shy of 90 years of age. I've got some, some life left in me yet. And I've got some fighting blood in me. Sam says he's spoken to several students who are considering transferring schools after Christmas. I talked to one just a little bit ago. He's afraid, you know, if the accreditation is going to be good because they're coming back in 2009. Meanwhile, ORU's Board of Regents met today and will do the same thing tomorrow to begin the search for a new president. The board will also hear a report from an outside firm investigating allegations Richard Roberts and his wife used university money to fund a lavish lifestyle. It rests in the hands of the regents. The net decisions they make in the next couple days are huge. Um, we'll see if they are focusing on the good of the university or if they're focused on the good of a, a few certain individuals. If and when a new president is selected, they will inherit, among other things, a university that is over $52 million in debt. In Tulsa, David Crow, The Oklahoma News Report.